The first time I met my later-to-be wife at UC Berkeley was one summer when we got together to work on the uh, minority youth outreach to try to encourage minority kids to come to UC Berkeley. Uh, she was a pretty shy person, actually, partly because she came from an immigrant family and her mother did not speak English. She did a lot of work w uh, around uh, women's issues, uh, including the rights of garment workers in Oakland and San Francisco Chinatown, and uh, taught the first Asian women's course. Uh, Jean's uh, family history goes back a hundred years to right after the uh, San Francisco earthquake when her grandfather uh, moved his entire family after the, the uh, San Francisco Chinatown burned down and came to Oakland. And her father uh, worked at the Hotel Leamington and was actually a union member there. So she has long roots in Oakland. Mom was a union organizer, so she was always working with janitors and healthcare workers. And she's been a community activist her entire life. So. We, as her kids, basically grew up the entire time at, at community meetings, at parades, in the union halls, at rallies and marches. And I think that's where she really taught us so much with her passion for social justice issues. Mom would drag us to every museum and art exhibit and cultural event that existed, you know, whenever we, we traveled to different places or, you know, here in Oakland to make sure we were really well-rounded. and. Uh, we finally learned how to how to protest and, and uh, to tell her when enough museums is enough. Um, but it really instilled in us a deep love of learning. Mom grew up pretty poor with with her family not having too much. She had the opportunity to get a scholarship to go to college, um, which is really gave her the opportunity to do what she wanted to do in the world, which is make the world a better place. So for her, fighting for education is not some benevolent project um, about helping you know, these poor kids, but it's really about making sure that our young people have the opportunities that they need in their lives to succeed. It was actually her love of art and music that kind of jump-started her into politics. Um, the city of Oakland was cutting um, music and art programs in our schools, and she organized parents to start a group called Save Our Schools. We believed her when she said that Oakland needs leaders who are willing to put kids at the center of decision making. She saw that bringing 700, 800 parents to a meeting would, by itself would not be enough and that uh, we needed better elected officials that had roots in the community. And so she was one of the first really premier parent activists to run for school board and uh, win a seat on the school board. Our conversations around the dinner table were pretty much always about what was going on in our community and specifically what was going on in Oakland. And so that was my education. Mom taught me that government is really about regular folks stepping up to the responsibility of leadership and getting involved and otherwise uh, democracy isn't, isn't real. Mom is tough and she's a fighter, which is what you have to be when you're in politics and you're a woman. And she's had to work three times as hard as, as anybody to, to get the respect that she deserves. I don't think you're going to find anyone who works harder for the city. and I don't think you're going to find anyone who's more passionate, um, yet willing to, to be straight with you and not just fill your head with lots of good ideas, but she's going to do it. She <laughs> is a... Um, a premier public servant. Uh, she only is involved in politics because that's the way to get things done. Uh, in other words, the decisions she makes are all based on what meets the needs of the majority of people. And you determine those needs by asking them, by involving them, by urging them to participate, uh, and, and not settling for top-down type decision making, which uh, I have to say, you know, a more <coughs> male-dominated political system is. As a woman, she's able to uh, bring the uh, consulting type approach, um, collaborative approach, group orientation to the table. And I've seen that up front and up close for 20 years now within our district. And that's, that's uh, why our district is so well organized. It's because <coughs> everybody participates because of her leadership whether it's knocking on doors, whether it's 
spending her weekends at community events, whether it's organizing neighborhoods. Um, she's shown us what can be done if, if you really put your heart into it.